We had the Yonex Thailand Open. We're now into the Toyota Thailand Open before the postponed World Tour finals take place next week. Well, that's what happened so far today on court number one. And Cho Tian Chen looking very impressive in his first round match. Next up should be an intriguing battle because it's Marcus Ellis and Chris Langridge from England, the Olympic bronze medalists and recent winners of the Denmark 750 event, up against Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, the three-time and reigning world champions. Now, the world champions lost in the quarter-final stage last week, so it's going to be interesting to see what sort of form they are in. Number two seeds, of course, the Indonesian pair, which means that it must be a match from right at the bottom of the draw. Now, take a look, though, at another English pair. Wonderful win for Ben Lane and Sean Vendy against the number six seeds, Alfian and Ardianto. Two straight games, 43 minutes only for that victory. And Arjun and Kapila of India safely through against Leighton Davis and Manota of New Zealand. The other match in this bottom quarter of the draw is on court right now. And let me see if I can bring you right up to date. Oh, it's only just started. It's the early first game. Can't really bring you any news of that at the moment. But Morton, I think in general, and it is a very generalisation, the Indonesian team last week didn't perform to the standard that we're used to seeing them. Not just this pair. Uh, I'm talking in general, the Indonesian players. Some of them were disappointing. Jonathan Christie losing, what was it, 21-5 in the second game to Victor Axelsen he in the quarterfinal. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony Ginting having led 11-7 in the deciding game against Victor. He lost that to 13. Yeah. The men's doubles pair we're about to see as the English pair come on to court. Uh, they were disappointing the way they lost in their quarterfinal to the Koreans of yeah. Choi and, and So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, in general, as yeah. you say, yeah. they did not perform so well, the Indonesian team. But I don't think they're the only team not performing so well. I think, in all honesty, some players are quite rusty. You know, it's yeah. been a while since they've been into competitive badminton. Yeah, but if some of you were with me and Steen last week, as we're looking at the English pair of Ellis and Langridge, we were talking about, given the fact that some players were looking very rusty, we felt that the way that Victor Axelsson was playing, and you could tell from every rally, he was so eager, he was so happy to be on court, mm. wanted to make the most of every rally. And that was a joy because other players were sort of, yes, we're a bit rusty. Now, if you're an English fan, uh, that's a little ominous, isn't it? Because <laughs> it is. this is the fifth meeting between these two pairs. And I can tell you, Marcus Ellis and Chris Langridge not only lost all four previous encounters, they've never actually won a game. The last time they met was in the first round of the Indonesian Super 1000 event. As you saw, it was a very close in the opening game. That was in 2019. In fact, Asun and Sediwan had to save five game points in the opening game against the English pair in Jakarta. 28-26 before 21-17 in the second game. But of course the English combination will have gained an awful lot of confidence from their victory at the Denmark Open when they beat Ivanov and Sozanov in the final. And they were the first English winners of the men's doubles at the Denmark Open for 45 years since David Eddy and Eddie Sutton in 1975. 31 years of age now is Marcus Ellis, and of course he's a very fine mixed doubles player as well, uh, with Lauren Smith. Olympic bronze medalists in Rio de Janeiro lost the semi-final to the eventual gold medalists Fu Haifeng and Zhang Nan and in the bronze medal playoff beat Chai Biao and Hong Wei in three games. Chris Langridge is 35 years of age now, born in Epsom in Surrey, father of twin girls. And 
he has a fear of flying. He always finds coming, especially on these long trips to Asia, he finds it very stressful. And of course, as a badminton player, yeah. he can't take anything for his anxiety because you have to be so careful about any sort of medication under the banned substance list. And of course, like us, Morton, he can't have a liquid refreshment <laughs> that might <laughs> relax him either. <laughs> no, he can't. No, but I, I can I can really understand him. I'm I'm not a good flyer myself. No, even I know after that Morton. all these years. I know that. Mohammed Hassan is thirty three years of age, born in Palembang in South Sumatra. Ready to play. He and his partner have been world number ones, thirty eight consecutive weeks as world number ones. Uh, from the end of November 2013. Hendra Setiwan is 36 years of age from uh, Pemalang in central Java. And they, in 2019, there you are, that just confirms that, the three time former world champions, and for Hendra Setiwan, four time world champion because he also won the World Championships back in 2007 with Marcus Kido. But back to their performance in 2019, 11 finals from 19 tournaments played. That was remarkable, wasn't it? They only, inverted commas, won four titles, including the All England, the World Championships and the World Tour Finals. So... But that was three good ones to pick, That's wasn't it? That's the three <laughs> biggest ones, really, <laughs> yeah. of the year, wasn't it? Yeah. So incredible. Seven times runners-up. Six of those beaten finals was Ladies against their gentlemen. teammates, Gideon and Sukkomolio. On my right, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, Indonesia. And on my left, Marcus Ellis and Chris Langridge, England. Chris Langridge to serve to Mohamed Hassan. Love all. Play. So Fabio Beto, our umpire, calls for the match to get underway. So Morton, One. the English pair in good form. This man, Chris Langridge, will want to try and get to the net as much as possible. Yes. He will anything rush forward at any given chance. Should we be looking out for anything else? Um, I, I think that it will be interesting to see how the English pair will fare when it comes to the flat exchanges because the English pair is quite good at the flat mm. exchanges and that's where Love. they are winning a lot of points against other pairs. But up against... Uh, Asan and Setiawan, who is just as good, or perhaps a lot better, when it comes to flat play. It will be interesting to see how the English players are coping with that situation. Yeah. Assuming that the Indonesian pair are fully sharp, I didn't see their quarter-final last week. Did you call that match, or was nope. that on court two? It was on court two, I yeah. didn't. I didn't. Yeah. But uh, I read some reports that the uh, Korean defence was unbelievable in that yeah. match. I can believe that. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's not unbelievable. Four. We've seen <laughs> it. I've <laughs> seen it so many times. Yeah. But so far, very good start for the English pair. And, uh, you know, I, I just can't help noticing already that uh, it's been uh, Setia one at the back. Most of the time attacking as we see the smashes here. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh fault called mm. on Hendra Setia one. Well, he seemed to be awfully careful yes. to make sure that he didn't fault. I don't yeah. think we'll see it from that angle. Let's see. He's doing all the right things, that's for sure. Taking good time. 
here we've got it. Let's see. Oof. Well, again, still quite difficult to tell from that angle. Oh, this is a fabulous start for the English pair. Six. Lock. Yeah, but when I was what I was trying to say that Setiawan was has been a lot at the back already. They're six love down. His smashes don't seem to be that hard. He's uh, sort of going, I would say, 70%, maybe 80% in his smashes. And that's possibly not enough. Yeah. And at the same time, it's, it's usually a son at the back and attacking from the back mm. and Setiawan at the front. Well, that's a disastrous Seven. start, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, this is extraordinary, Lock. isn't it? They're way Six. off the pace, the Indonesians. Pressure from the back from Setiawan is still not enough. No. Well, this rally so far. It's over. One. Six shots. Eight. Longer than the previous oh. longest rally. Oh, that's a beautiful return yeah. over. from Ellis. Nine. Finding One. that mid court area so well, but look at the return here. That's textbook. Out. Seven over. Two. Oh yes. What was the situation Ten. in Indonesia? Do you know, Morton, were uh, during basically global lockdown, were the elite athletes allowed to still train? Um, as far as I understand it, yes. But of course, they also have their restrictions at times, but uh, in general, I think they've been able to practice. Yeah. Well, this is totally unexpected. The English combination, absolutely, totally dominant so far in this match. 11-2, the advantage. On court two, women's double. Okay. And Stay focused on our game. Clark, coach. Just make sure on that ready. That's where they pull off some nice shots. Forward one, keep it going. Forward one, he's safe. Didn't really seem to be anything of significance said there by Anthony. <coughs> no, <coughs> excuse me. But what I think is, uh, is is very good about the English approach so far is that they're not over eager. Sometimes, you know, when you sense you have the chance, you go in there and you become over eager and you make sort of silly mistakes. I think they kept it very cool, very calm and, and still playing with good pressure. Silver, three, eleven. Oh, oh that's better. Goodness me. Yeah, that's much, Four. much better. Eleven. Good attack from uh, Asan. 
No, I think that got it. Langridge in the face. Oh no, not quite. He did get his racket turned. Yeah. Well judged. Yes, well left. Time's over. 12, 4. It's a poor choice by Langridge. You had that chance. I know. The, the first one where yeah. he blocked. <laughs> the first one when he's blocking, yes. Had a good chance there. I know Asan is standing on the other side and is pretty good getting it back and getting it back with interest, but I think he should have taken that chance. Oh, that's a perfect one. Absolutely yeah. perfect. Super serve. Yeah. Six. Well. I'm not sure whether the Indonesian pair can make a comeback here in the first game and win it however I sort of sense that uh, we would have a lot lot closer match in the second game I wouldn't put it beyond them to win this opening game you know no no it, it looks like they are moving ahead if you can say that it's, it's sort of warming up if you mm. can say that yeah over 13 6 I think that our son is having trouble with his leg. Do you? Yes. I think he's got trouble on his left calf. And that's why we see Setio and going really to the back. going to the back and out of his normal position to help his Nine. partner. Um, it doesn't look good. They are hiding it really well but I think he's got a problem on his left calf. Oh, that was a great backhand from Setia one. And he's limping a bit, Ten. I think. Good. But hiding it very nicely. Well, this is extraordinary considering they were 110 down. Now only three points in it. Stop that run of points, the English pair. Yeah, well yeah. spotted, Morton, because he's calling for the doctor now. And indeed, he's pointing to his left calf. Yeah. That's very, very well spotted, Morton. Well, it would be very, very sad indeed if he isn't able to continue it looks bad in all yeah. honesty it does yeah and you can see it on his face on the last shot he was playing mm. and uh, if we have it in slow motion you will see his facial expression and uh, it did not look good yeah well it doesn't look good for them for next week as well because they were number five on the race to the world tour finals
one of the referees, Ivanka Pokini, on to court with the doctor. Oh yes, look, heavy strapping. Why well, it's more, well it's interesting, he's wanting the calf muscle. Can't really see the strapping there. Is it on the calf muscle as well? I yes, it is. It is. Yeah, it's on the calf, but it's also going all the way down to the angle. Yeah. I'm not sure that can fix it. No. In all honesty. Well, in badminton, unlike in tennis, you're not allowed to have any treatment, technically. The doctor can assess, but of course, it's not a, a hardened rule that's enforced to the letter of the law, thankfully. Mm. Yeah, common sense prevail. Yeah, absolutely. See, that's Setiaman would never do that under normal circumstances. Yeah. But mind you, can you remember in 2019 when they won the All England? And Setiawan was on one leg, wasn't On he? one leg, and they played yeah. the two youngsters from Malaysia, uh, yeah. Aaron Chia and So Wee. And even in the three game match, they managed to win. Yeah. So, you know, I will never ever put it beyond them. No. <laughs> I would not. No. Me neither. Great anticipation. Flick serve out wide, waiting for the straight reply. Watch yeah. his movement, a son. Yeah. yeah. But not only that, he's flicking the serve uh, when he's playing with the drift. Yeah. It takes a little bit of guts to do that. Yeah. So there's just one point in it, having been 10 1 down at one stage. We could have put that away, Hassan. Yeah. He could, and he normally would. That's a great drop shot. Marcus Ellis is one of the fastest, fittest athletes in the world of badminton. And he was left stranded on that. Just keeping their noses in front, the English pair. Yeah. Of course, we have to keep in mind what happened at the All England final there in 2019. But somehow I sense that this opening game could be crucial. Yeah. In the sense that uh, if the English pair is winning, perhaps we will have a withdrawal. A withdrawal. Yeah. Sadly, we lost Lee Yong Day yesterday. Yeah. Similar problem. Similar. Although obviously Mohammed Hassan had hurt his left calf muscle or ankle before the start of the match. Yeah. Lee Yong Day, it happened during the match. And Cash Up pulled out of the tournament under the same circumstances. Another good angle. Good rally. Nice clever play from Ellis. Best rally of the match. Oh, what a shot. And the longest for sure. Yeah. 
brilliant. Lovely, lovely change of pace in the end from Mohamed Hassan. And yes, he's limping more and more. Yeah. So clearly the longest rally of the match so far. And the score's back level. 79 shots, my goodness. That is long for men's doubles. Well, it fell back the English side. Yeah, this is absolutely well, extraordinary. Yeah, I think they're discussing whether you can carry on as son. Discussing with the coach, Harry. fighting by the Indonesian pair. That's really well played by Setia one to get the first one in the deep forehand corner. Always challenge here. It's not the quickest of players these days, but still he managed to get it into that deep forehand corner and play it back with interest. Is out. Yeah. Once again, the line judge getting the ball right. Yeah, oh. Mohammed Hassan, very, very slow to get up from that chair and look at the way he's walking. Uh, it's getting worse and worse. Yeah. And if you were language now, you would probably flick serve, yeah, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Make him move. Yeah. And you're hitting against the drift. Yeah. Unlikely to go long. Well, he doesn't do that. And he's yes. losing the point. That's a good flick serve. This time that went over from Langridge at the net. I think you're right though, Morton. I think if the Indonesians lose this opening game, I think they may call it quits. Yeah, that's what I think anyway. And still keeping in mind of that All England final, but mind you, it was the final. Yeah. When that calf muscle gets cold again, mm. it will be painful. There's the flick. Yeah. Oh, he got back quickly, though, didn't he? He did well. He did well. It was totally off balance. Look, he had to take an extra couple of little steps after receiving that flick serve.
Oh, great defence. Yeah. Great drop. Yes. Lovely drop shot. Yeah, but very, very good awareness from Ellis. Because, of course, our son is moving backwards, uh, trying to defend. Try to look here, he's moving backwards. Impossible for him to get forward. Yeah. Can't change direction with that injury. No. That's too painful. Nice but I like that Setia one is trying his hardest yeah. to get it. Absolutely. I well, think it's a wonderful combination, these two players. Yeah. Game point opportunity to the English pair. So cool, calm, and collected, isn't it? It is amazing. Two really good pressure shots, and then the block. So, game point saved 20 all, an extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Oh dear me, I think that's the first service error of the match, isn't it? really is a gift at this stage of a game, isn't it? And a second game point opportunity for Ellis and Langridge. Flick again, what do you reckon? I, I would flick. Into towards the side. Oh dear, repays the compliment with a service error. Would you believe it? That's wide, 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 wide. So, having saved two game point opportunities, now the number two seeds have a game point themselves. wouldn't be surprised if we have another flick here because if that reply is too flat from language spells trouble ah, I told you yeah <laughs> yeah an ace yep. with a flick serve well that is totally extraordinary one ten and down in the opening game they survive two game points and eventually win it. The number two seeds are Sun and Seti one. 23 21 in the opening game. The opening game was about 25 minutes. Only one for the same problem. The different problem? If it's a different yeah. problem, we're yes. yes. going to check. Yes. Okay. Well, I think the Indonesians have called for the doctor again and Fabio Beto, the umpire, has said not if it's for the same problem. <laughs> is there a rule about how often you can... I, I think there is that you can only uh, receive treatment once. But now it's uh, the back of uh, the thigh on the left leg of Asan.
So a truly remarkable game. opening game by the number two seeds, Lahore. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. And Hendra Setio, and sorry, Mohamed Hassan getting more spray on his hamstring, I think you said, Morton. Yes. During that timeout. Oh, that's a good shot. Good shot from Ellis. Well, I question whether there was uh, any reason. The umpire was saying you can't have the doctor on if it's the same problem as before. And I've just checked the rules there, Morton, and uh, you can have no treatment causing undue delay. Um, so that's, that's one thing. But the umpire shall ensure that opposing side is not put at a disadvantage by the delay for treatment. Well, we were in the middle of a timeout anyway, a yes. two-minute timeout. Yeah. I think perhaps <coughs> that rule is for broad interpretation. Yes. And you just pointed it out, and I, I think they sort of go with the sense what is the correct thing to do from the umpires. Yeah. Because we've seen situations in badminton where a player has had cramp, and you and I both believe that that's a fitness issue, that's not an injury yes. issue. So it's 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 not a fine dividing line between treatment and injuries or fitness it's it does need an umpire to interpret the rules in a common sense way yeah Well, it looks as if Mohamed Hassan is going to continue to try and limp his way through this match. Yeah. Four. So far, he's doing well. Yeah. As usual. straight points for a 5-2 lead yeah but Ellis defense is crumbling a bit I think the right idea wasn't it wrong execution Silver. Three. It was a good idea from Hassan, that uh, service return, the block to the net. Fortunately for him, it's not going over, but I think the idea is really good, trying to force a lift. Oh, lucky oh. return of serve. Oh. Quite often see the return of serve skim the net, but that seemed to sort of thunder into the net and crawl over. Now, I, I must say that the English pair needs to ch change tactic here. Yeah. 
and they are falling way into the trap of uh, play at the net. Look at that, Setia went straight away, taking the opportunity to play the net back. It, it means possibly easy points or at least no work. You know, you can score the point from actually no work if, if you play tight enough. Yeah. And the English really have to start getting the rallies going, push uh, push the uh, Indonesian pairs, uh, players around on the court and not giving opportunities like this. Yeah. They have to start changing tactics. Eight. Five. They're falling way into the trap here. Mm. the English pair are focusing too much on trying to move the Indonesians because they know about the injury and the, the, that rally was a prime example they were lifting and moving the player at the back of the court rather than attacking which is what they did in, in the early stages to get that 10-1 lead. Yeah. The problem is that they are getting very very poorly out of the service situation the first three shots and that means that the pressure is, is mounting from there straight away and of course as you see this one is better mm. now we are out of that service situation play has started and suddenly they can they can play attacking play as you say but they can also move their opponents a bit at the moment they are, of course as you see standing just side by side defending it quite nicely it's gone wide yeah service over six but they're not getting out of this service situation really well, the English pair at the moment. Well, the Indonesians have won 30 of the last 46 points. 47 points now. That's a good smash. By doing what they did here, they take the front player from Indonesia out of the equation, and that's exactly what they need to do. It's going long. Well left. So 11 7 the advantage to Asan and Setia one, having already won the opening game. That's the final rally before the big game interval. That's uh, good judgment. And in the interval, I can tell you that Hassan has got his leg up on the player's bench there, and he's got an ice pack underneath it. There it is. Yeah. The man is struggling. And with an injury like a calf muscle, it's terribly difficult, Morton, to recover quickly. Even if they win this, I wonder if they're trying to just sort of secure their place in the World Tour Finals and then have some time off to try and recover before the World Tour Finals starts next Wednesday. I think that's the rage behind it. Yeah. See you again. Not getting out of that service situation. Yeah. And it's easy points. Asan is doing no work. Such a, uh, 
City one is just winning the point all yeah. right yeah and our son just wait is standing there looking at it second service Eight. error from set well. one wow that is a wonderful smash from a man that can't jump. Over mm. eight. It's a great angle. That shot landed before Langridge's defensive stance. And either Langridge was too far back in court, or it was a wonderful angle on that. What a return of serve. at himself there, Marcus Ellis, for his defensive shot. Yep, you can say whatever you want, but the two Indonesians are going quietly about their business. Do you know, it was just going through my mind, you know, we can analyze tactics and everything but it is remarkable that the indonesians with one of them obviously badly injured and they're still able to play like this against the olympic bronze medalists and recent winners of the denmark open yeah but what i like almost the most about watching all this even though that but you know there there can be a look there can be the eye now and again and people can be so sad oh why did that not work out but between these two never never mm -hmm. ever and and if there's one down the other one is simply just covering yeah as best as he can yeah with no complaints just doing whatever it takes yeah to win yeah Oh, that's good for Ellis. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful block shot from him as well on the forehand side of the body. That one there. And then good defensive work in the flat play. Yeah, it was truly a remarkable defensive shot yeah. from the initial smash there from by Ellis. So just two points in it. Trouble, trouble. Oh. 
Got it easy. Well, that was a pity by from the English perspective. But that rally really rather proves your point, doesn't it? They got in each other's way. No sort of panic, just calmly getting on with what's needed. OK, one of us is out of position. I'll run round and cover the next one. Yes. Normally, it would be a son moving forward in a situation yeah. like that because he's the quickest of the two. But look at how Sessiwan just, OK, it's mine. I'll take it. Yeah, well Ellis has just stepped up his pace and intensity, hasn't he? Yeah, I, he had a bad patch coming to his defence, but I think he's definitely stepped up again. Doing well. by the English, good defensive work. Yeah, it was good defensive work, Morton, but it bothers me that they're not trying a little earlier to turn their defence into attack. Yeah. That was the attempt there, the error from Langridge. That's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. That could be a costly 19, error. Yep. Two points away from a place in the second round for the number two seeds, Asan and Setiawan. And Asan and Setiawan, famous in badminton and circles. When they get to 19, they hardly ever lose. Yeah. Good so, shot. Yeah. A call to leave it from his partner. And after 45 minutes, it's match point opportunities for the world champions, Asan and Setiawan. Oh, that's a third service error from Setiawan. It's, it's probably. If you can say that, in, in my book, of course, we've seen them so often. One of his weakest areas in this game is actually his surf. His actual surf. It's not his interception, third shot and all that, but the actual surf. Oof. Yeah. 23, 21, 21, 15. To the number two That's seeds, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra said he won an obvious frustration at the end of that match by the English pair. They were in such a commanding position in the opening game. 10-1, 11-2, 12-4. Still couldn't convert. It's just a fine example of cease the moment, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely, Morton. Their confirmation, 23-21, having saved two game points. 21-15, second game.